welcome to my apartment so this is the entrance i have a few plants the moment i enter the house and then i have this hallway on the left side here i have a shoe cabinet where i keep all my footwear and on top i have a few bags and it's a bit messy at the moment because there are clothes here that need to go to the dry cleaners and the dog's leashes of course and then as we move into the apartment i have my open plant kitchen on the right here I'm really lucky there's a lot of storage in this kitchen so even though the space is quite small there's a place for everything and I don't struggle with storage at all. It's a bit messy right now please don't judge me. Um, my house help is on leave because of the COVID-19 situation so I've just been managing myself and there are a few dishes that need to be done. So I really like cooking here because I can still see the dogs, I can see into my living room. Um, I can still hear the television so it feels like a really nice space and I've noticed I'm definitely cooking a lot more since I moved into the house. I have a bookshelf here um, and it's got a few other things like a plant, um, some of my candles, room sprays and just a few other miscellaneous items. I've got a big mirror here so I can just see myself before I leave the house and also to open up the space. I have a big palm, a few round mirrors on the wall, then this is my sofa and you might notice the setup is a bit non-traditional that's because my room is quite small and I wanted to really open up the space. That's my bedroom back there, we'll go in there later. I've got two bar stools here which are not actually the right height so I don't actually sit on them ever. Um, I have a plant in that corner which actually hides a lot of ugly wires so that has a purpose. And then this corner, this is where my balcony is and I've converted my coffee table to basically an art corner. I used to have a beige sofa but I thought it just blended in with the walls, with the floor and I think the blue just adds a lot more interest to the space. Now I moved my coffee table to the side because I just felt like I needed a bit more openness, a bit more room in the center of the room and this actually works really well because I can start to get back into drawing and painting now. That's my television. I've got a nice lush plant in that corner. I've got a TV unit where I keep like just paperwork and things like that. So that was my living room now let's move on to the bedroom my bedroom is small but i feel it is quite an okay size for one person i've got a queen sized bed i've got a full size mirror leaning against that wall i've got some plants some big some small i've got a nice lamp for um, next to the bed because i like to read at night and I have this open wardrobe which was very important for me because I wanted something that would not make the room appear even smaller and this gives me so much storage. I've got um, all these shelves where I can keep like my day-to-day -day makeup. I can store so many things in that wardrobe. Um, I'm really pleased with that choice. My bedroom is mostly white because it's a pretty soothing color for me. I try to keep the underside of the bed quite clean. I just have one basket there where I keep um, things for the dogs like towels and shampoo and things like that so that was my bedroom I'm not gonna show the bathroom I feel that's really private um, so yeah so that's my apartment basically in a nutshell I love this space I really like how I've decorated it I feel so much at peace here and I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can um, style a small apartment to make it cozy and to also make it look interesting. My first tip is play with textures. You can do that in the form of fabrics, 
curtains um, mats you can add rugs that you can add like this one in my hallway which adds some color as well as texture then i've hung a few of my prettier looking bags on the back of my bedroom door so this just adds a bit more interest to the space mirrors really help in opening up a small space and that's why i've got a few different styles and if you'll notice we've got wood metal and mirror so that adds to the texture which i talked about in the previous tip my next tip is try to keep your surfaces as clean as possible and don't be afraid to play with an unconventional configuration like i don't have a coffee table sitting in front of my sofa because i just don't have the space for it but i quite like how this has opened up my room my next step is add a few indoor plants to your space this not only adds life to your space but it's also really good for your health and i just find the look of plants just so so soothing um, so i have added a lot of plants to my space but even if you add just one or two it will make a big difference and don't be afraid to place a plant on a higher shelf or buy a tall plant like this palm to just emphasize that vertical space. You can also experiment by just trying out plants with different leaf patterns. I just feel it adds interest to the space and placing small plants in little nooks and corners. And that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to list all the pieces where I bought them from in the description box below. And if you still have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments thank you so much for watching bye